And in our final special interview of 2017, we are honored to talk to Dr. Witiya Chat Bancha Chai, uh, the director of the World Health Organization Collaborating Center for Injury Prevention and Safety about the road accident situation in Thailand. So, Dr. Witiya. Hello. Uh, uh, hello, good morning, Kuncha. Uh, now, earlier, the WHO uh, Collaborating Center for Injury Prevention and Safety has reported that Thailand has a tendency to be the number one nation with the highest number of road fatalities. According to the report from your center last year, Thailand has 22,356 deaths from road accidents. Now, let's, can you tell me a little bit about the overall situation of road accidents here in the kingdom? How, how concerning is the situation? Uh, yes, uh, good morning, Kuncha, and uh, thank you Ness, for inviting me to uh, participate in this discussion this morning uh, about the road uh, crash situation in Thailand. As you mentioned, that we have around 20,000 people queue on the road. Uh, not only that, but about nearly 1 million people getting injured from traffic crash in Thailand and this number of injured people become you become a permanent handicap for more than four to five uh, 50 to uh, 40 to 50 thousand people who will becoming handicapped and this cause great uh, number of economic loss which estimate around uh, 500,000 million baht every year. So the uh, loss from traffic crash is huge in our country. Uh, when comparing with United Kingdom of England, which have quite similar amount of population and quite uh, equal size of Thailand, in United Kingdom, they have 10 times less mortality from road crash in comparing with Thailand. They have only about 1,800 1, people queue on the road in each year. We have more than 20,000, more than 10 times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is uh, the situation that I would like to mention. So what would you say is the root cause of the road accidents here in Thailand? Uh, pardon? What, what would you say is the root cause of road oh, accident root deaths okay. in Thailand? Uh, the, the root cause, uh, majority of the cause are human factor, uh, which is the human behavior. In, in Thailand, our country, uh, we, you can observe that only about 50% 50, uh, 50, uh, 50 of people who use helmet on motor, on motor bike and the passenger will use helmet up only not more than uh, 20%. You can observe that not not uh, more, not more than half of the people use seat belt, and a lot of people ride against red light mm -hmm. and against the lane for U-turn and parking in very uh, dangerous roadside. Uh, they drive with fast speed and most uh, many of them drink alcohol right. so you can see that these behavior are so dangerous mm. and uh, most of this behavior can be controlled if we have good strict law enforcement but uh, we do not have a good so good law enforcement in our country this is one major cause we also have a problem in road in road situations with some hazardous location uh, no good side, no good parking for the truck at the roadside, and no uh, appropriate lens that you turn. So we, we have a lot of, so uh, still a lot of problem about the road situation or road standard. Another factor is the vehicle factor. We still, still have a lot of problem with the standard of, of the bus of the truck, of the van, of the motorcycle. Uh, we still do not
not announce the UN vehicle standard to use in our country. Also, the diving license is still on the process of improvement. So, so this is the three big factor: the human factor, road factor, and also uh, vehicle factors. But majority of them is human behavior. Right. Now, in your view, what is the most effective way to prevent road accidents? Uh, I, 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 we have observed that in Thailand, uh, the prime minister, even the government, announced that road safety is a national agenda, a national priority. And they have done quite a good job. They have a... Uh, uh, directed Center for Road Safety and Campaign during New Year, Thai New Year Festival, and some work in other, a lot of work in other minister, ministry, like Ministry of Transportation, Minister of Health, Minister of Interior, and also National Police Bureau. But still, very important thing that uh, it is a strategy uh, mechanism for Thailand that we knew we need, we need a national lead agency, National Institute, is right now do, have, do not have such institute for Thailand to be the lead agency to deal uh, with this big problem. We need a lead agency to lay out a national plan, set up a national priority, set up a national data center in order to monitor and uh, to report the situation to the public. So this is the big strategic movement that if we have this institute in the country, we can tackle the problem much, much better. Another thing for Thailand that you, and the question you asked, we think that we need to have more, much more strict law enforcement. We need to uh, invest more uh, budget for, for uh, purchasing and uh, Cons uh, and install better technology like the speed camera in many dangerous places along the highway road and invest more for equipment like the speed uh, gun and also the alcohol breath tester in order to control uh, risk much, uh, the most dangerous risk behavior like driving the speed and doing dive. So this is two important things for Thailand that if we have invest more in uh, in 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 uh, establishing national agent, national uh, national uh, lead agency and also law enforcement, yeah. Thank you so much for uh, joining us today as on the last day of the year and for giving us the overview situation of the driving uh, tra uh, this, the the accident driving accident situation in Thailand. Thank you very much, Dr. Witia. And of course, it's a delight to have you as our final guest and we hope you come back again next year. Thank you very much. Happy New Year. Ha.